Jesus. Oh God, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Good evening, family of God this morning, and uh, thank you for uh, affording us this opportunity to bring worship and ministry right there in the comfort of your own home. I'm Pastor Shirley Naito, your Gospel Hour Lotus FM pastor, and it is indeed my privilege and honor to walk you on a 21-day pilgrimage unto His Holiness. And we really, really need to depend on the supernatural dimension in these perilous times that we are living in, these unprecedented days that we are facing. And this 21-day pilgrimage has truly been awesome. Well. We're over the halfway mark. Today is day 12, and I trust that you are sensing a calm and a peace over your soul, that you are drawing ever close to His holy presence. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Well, we're going to worship the Lord today, and I just welcome you to comment that we know that you are there, so we have this interaction. We may not be uh, meeting in uh, buildings, but it's wonderful. It's very difficult to pastor an invisible congregation. So we love to hear from you and know that we are all connected and we are accountable to each other. The Lord bless you tonight. We're going to sing praises unto His Holiness. We're going to sing love songs unto the Lord today. Remember Paul and Silas, they were in prison. And at the midnight hour, they were singing love songs unto Almighty God. And the shackles were broken from their, uh, their, their feet. And so tonight, even as we come into the presence of the Lord, actually, before we go there, let's start praying right now. We're just going to step into prayer before we go into worship. We're going to step into prayer, bring all those who are unwell, who are sick in body right now before the Lord. Father, we bring those who are unwell in body right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We remember uh, Pastor Adrian, who is still very unwell in hospital. And today, Lord, right throughout the world, people have been praying for your son, O oh God. And so we pray tonight that, Lord, that he will have a mir miraculous healing, oh God. For there is nothing that is impossible with our God. All things are possible with you, Lord. And we declare, oh God, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ upon him right now. And for all those who are unwell in body, and you know them, you know your family, you know your friends who are unwell in body right now. And I want you to just bring them before the Lord Hallelujah. It may be COVID related. It may not be. But we pray for all the sick right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will move over the face of the earth. Your word says that your eye roams to and fro the earth, oh God. You never slumber nor you sleep, Lord God. And so we bring those who are unwell in body, that you will heal them, that you will restore their bodies, Father. And when we go through the word, we see there's so many times that, Lord Jesus, you've healed. Not only have you healed, but you sent your disciples out to heal in your name, oh God. And so today as disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for those who are unwell in body and declare their healing now in Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. God, I bring those who are psychologically troubled right now. Father, this pandemic has caused a ripple effect on so many different uh, areas of our lives, oh God, and Lord, for those who are psychologically disturbed today, those who are feel have feelings of hopelessness today, I pray, God, that you will reach out and touch that sister right now, oh God, who feels like she does not have a reason to live, my God. I pray right now through the power of Almighty God, that God, that she will have a paradigm shift in her mindset, Lord, that she will be renewed in her mind, that she'll be transformed, she or he will be transformed transformed by the renewing of his mind this evening hour oh God in the name of Jesus Lord let them know that they are valuable increase Lord their self worth about themselves Lord God Lord let them begin to love each other love themselves oh God appreciate who they are let them look into the mirror and be able to see with new eyes oh God of their importance and how much they mean to their families and their friends oh God and how much their presence is needed upon the face of the earth to so those who are suicidal right now oh god i pray in the mighty name of jesus that lord that your holy spirit will rush down rush into that place send that uh, your angels father even as our lips are moving and our words come forth this evening oh god i pray that your heaven 
will intervene. We will have a heavenly interruption tonight. And Lord, that the angels will begin to be dispatched to those who are depressed and those, Lord, who are on the brink of suicide, Father. And Lord, you will bring them back. You will bring them back, oh God, and that the latter shall be greater than the former in Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. Oh Lord, you're healing. You're healing, you're healing, you're healing, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. And those, Lord, who are grieving and those who are mourning, oh God, we pray, Father, for your healing touch upon their hearts right now. Oh God, give them, Lord, a reason to live, Lord. Show them, oh God, that, Father, that, Lord, that you are in the, the middle of their situation and their circumstance, Father. Help them every day lord help them every day to face every single day lord with your strength your added strength and your added grace in jesus mighty and all powerful name amen and amen and amen hallelujah come let us worship him now let us tell him how much we love him thank you lord oh jesus From a grateful heart, oh, each time I think of you, the praises start. I love you, my Jesus, Jesus, I love you so
sacrifice unto you, Lord. Let my worship and let my lifestyle be a sweet sacrifice unto you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, even as Paul declares in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Almighty God, that you will present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto him. Hallelujah. And be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, not to the pattern of this world, but the renewing of your mind. And so tonight, as we continue in worship before the Lord, I would like to read from Luke's Gospel in chapter 6 and verse 37. Ways to align ourselves to His holiness. Remember, worship is a lifestyle. It does not only happen in prayer moments such as these. It's a lifestyle. It's a 24-7 kind of lifestyle. And so reading from this passage of scripture, the word teaches us in the words of the Lord Jesus Christ himself, which is so profound. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. And I find this so profound because we all tend to judge others. And I want you to know that when we judge others, we feel irritated in our own spirits. And the one that we're actually judging doesn't even have a clue as to what they are doing. And you may very well be right in seeing the wrongs of others. However, when we tend to judge them, it causes our spirit to be um, affected. It causes us to be emotionally traumatized. It causes us to feel unhappy and not at peace. And so I think it's so important during our 21 days, if you and I can catch hold of this, that we, um, as we see others doing whatever they are doing, and you know, if it's not our business, refrain from it. Don't allow ourselves to get caught up uh, in, in all of this and allowing yourself, if it doesn't affect you, move on. You know, if their behavior, obviously this is within a context, this is within the context. If their behavior is something that you disapprove of, you know, at the end of the day, God is indeed the great judge. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Now I like this. Give and it will be given to you. So if you give good, you will get good. If you give bad, you will get bad. A good measure, give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Will it be poured into your lap? In other words, you will receive it abundantly. So when you give good, you will receive good back in abundance. But if you get bad, you will sow bad. You sow bad, you will reap bad in abundance. So be believers of God tonight, believers in the word of Almighty God, I beseech you therefore by the mercies of Almighty God, let us watch our ways. Let us be conscious. Let us pay special attention to our ways and our walk in our lives here on the face of this earth. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. God bless you as we continue to worship the Lord. A few scriptures, two scriptures. Luke chapter 6 verse 37 and verse 38. It's absolutely profound. Hallelujah. It's absolutely profound. So let us continue to worship God tonight as we pray on this and allow this to take root in our spirits today. Amen. God bless you. How great is our God Hey, I tell you, he is great Come on, let's rejoice Rejoice in our great God tonight Oh, darkness tries to hide Hey, hey, hey Trembles and his voice, oh, trembles and his voice. How great is our God? Come sing with me. How great is our God? 
right now. Do you know that despite everything that's going on around you, this God, your Heavenly Father, wants to grant you the desires of your heart? Do you know that? Have you forgotten that He is your Heavenly Father who loves you and bestows good gifts upon you? And He wants to grant you the desires of your heart. Whatever it is, God wants to make that happen for you. And it is going to happen in Kairos time, in perfect time. That good gift you will receive. How many of us have waited years before we received material blessings such as homes, such as vehicles, cars, businesses? How many of us have waited a long time before we met the right person, our soulmate, but came through for you? How many of us have waited to, to receive uh, children and to, there were so many people who were barren and received children, but God came through for you. Oh, I want you to know that God wants to grant you the desires of your heart. And he is great. Do you agree with that tonight? And if you do, I want you to right there in your homes tonight to just declare how great our God is. How great is he? Age to age he stands. Time is in his hands. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. Hallelujah. 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 And age to age he stands. Age to age he stands. Oh, time is in his hands. Hallelujah. Yeah. Alpha and Omega. First and the last.
request known unto the Lord. He says, call upon me and I will answer thee. Hallelujah. Is this not the fast that I have called you to? Then you will see your light break through like the morning dawn. Hallelujah. Oh, it's not going to be a little light at the end of the tunnel, but it's going to be a morning dawn kind of light that is going to come upon you during this time in the name of Almighty God. Somebody better declare that right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's going to be a turn around in your situation. God is about to turn your morning into dancing. God is about to turn your darkness into light. God is about to turn your lack into plentiful. God is about to turn your sickness into miraculous healing and health. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. I receive, Lord. I believe. I choose to believe the blessings of Almighty God. I choose to believe when there's so much negativity around us. Oh God, I choose to believe that I will still walk in the blessed coming in, blessed going out, and the blessing of Almighty God that will overtake me in Jesus' mighty name as your word declares it. I believe in your word tonight. I believe in the report of the Lord tonight. And I pray for all those who are pilgrims of this 21 days, oh God. Now, Lord Jesus, they too will receive, they will have the faith to believe that God is indeed a miraculous working, giving, blessing God. So bless them, I pray, as they bring their requests known, make their requests known to you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. Hallelujah. We thank you for your amazing grace today. We thank you, Lord, that we know that the world around us is suffering. Lord, our own families, some of us on pilgrimage are struggling. We are all affected. And some of us are feeling broken. And Lord, it's so difficult to lift up our spirits and even hold on to faith at this time. But God, we thank you for your grace tonight. Oh, somebody thank you for his grace tonight. Thank you for his grace tonight. Hallelujah. His amazing, amazing, amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Hallelujah. That saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing grace. Broken and scattered in mercy handed, mended and oh, sent to mended, but not forsaken. I've been set free. I've been set free.
Father, may we be encouraged by your word tonight, I pray in Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, beloved family of God, we are talking about, last week we stressed a lot about repentance and coming before God with a contrite heart, with a broken spirit. You know, in order for us to experience um, you know, there's the term we use when you fall in love, you know, you, you're falling in love. You have to fall in order to reach that wonderful virtue of having pure love. And so you have to break something, you know, when you fall head over heels with, in love with someone, you got to break something, you break your ego. And similarly, in the spirit realm, we've got to break a lot of things. And so we did the repentance side of it. And we continue this week to add a few things here and there. But this week, we are focusing on the healing, the deliverance, and God setting us free in our hearts, in our minds, our spirits, and our bodies. Amen. And so today, I want to talk about the power. Uh, I want to talk about the, the power of um, Jesus. Uh, here we go. When Jesus uh, assigned to his disciples the power of practicing praying that people will get healed. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, the Bible tells us then when Jesus had called the 12 together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and cure diseases, heal diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And so they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere. I want you to know, beloved child of God, that God has given you and I that gift, the spiritual gifts to exercise. And right now, the world is calling for uh, hope. There are so many. Earlier today, I just got a message about a beautiful lady who is so sad she's not COVID positive but she's just so sad about her illnesses that she's going through and the cause of it and how it has deteriorated the quality of her life and she says you know it's better if she'd rather die than to live and so I want you to know that we are here you and I have a responsibility to our fellow humanity that we will go out and take out the word of hope during times like this. And so Jesus gave the disciples, remember a disciple is one who is disciplined and he called us disciples because he taught us and we have taken on a disciplined life of following in the word of Jesus Christ. And so today we are not labeling people by a, a group of people, but a, a behavioral pattern of those who are disciplined in their walk and their spiritual journey with God. And God is saying to us, we need to now go out. It's a practice that we will pray for those who are tormented by diseases and demons or tormented psychologically by the effects of COVID-19. There are so many people who were not infected, who did not test positive by COVID-19, COVID but yet is affected in such a, uh, a debilitating way in so many areas of their life. So many have lost loved ones. There's so many uh, deaths and mournings in their homes. And there's so much of black breadwinners have succumbed to COVID-19 and people have become tormented by all of these things. How do they deal with it? It is unnatural. There, there was not an expectation for families to be wiped out the way we're experiencing right now. And so if you and I can just take on this and, and begin to uh, try and, uh, uh, you know, go and spread the word, go and spread the word to others and assist them and help them, you know, in the name of Almighty God. So I encourage us today, let us take this authority then in the name of Jesus. Jesus is here and he wants to set us free from all those things that are holding us back in Jesus' name. Somebody give me an amen tonight. Hallelujah. And then we look at the story in Matthew chapter 9. The Bible says Jesus stepped into the boat, crossed over and came to his own town. Some men brought to him a paralyzed man lying on a mat. 
they saw when they saw Jesus when they when Jesus saw their faith he said to them take heart son your sins are forgiven at the same time uh, at this time some of the teachers of the law said to themselves this fellow is blaspheming and to this very day we still have skeptics to this very day we still have those who don't believe but I want to say to believers today take heart and never give up the flicker of hope as long as there is hope there is a way out there is the opportunity for the light at the end of the tunnel and then the dawn shall your light shall break through like the dawn so I don't know about you but I choose to believe in that which is positive I choose to believe in greater things in higher heights than believing that God will that there is no God or there will be no healing or there will be no deliverance or there will continue to be lack and famine I choose to believe in the supernatural realm and I trust that those of you who are watching you too believe in that knowing their thoughts Jesus said why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say get up and walk but I want you to know that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins so he said to the paralyzed man get up take your mat and go home then the man got up and went home when the crowd saw this they were filled with awe and they praised God who had given such authority to man and so in this passage of scripture you and I can identify that in healing the body is so important and but the body is a temporary uh, tent it's a temporary tent it's a tent it's not uh, here for the everlasting okay it is um, a mortal clay jar you know God has put his treasure in this mortal clay jar but what is so powerful about this the man who came for the purpose of them coming to Jesus was to heal his body but Jesus healed his mind because when you and I have sin in our hearts it torments us it causes us to feel guilt and it causes us to feel shame but Jesus wants to give us a holistic well-being in the book of Timothy he says I've given you a sound mind and many of us uh, second guess ourselves we second guess ourselves we have a low self-esteem but I want you to know today that the Word of God says that Jesus is able to forgive all sin on earth he is able to forgive us for our sin so may you and I today walk in the liberty and in the freedom of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior all these broken pieces that are shattered I want you to know that his amazing grace is able to just sweep us all up and make us whole again his wholeness is upon you right now father I thank you for this congregation today those who have congregated those who are listeners to the word may we not only be hearers but may we be doers of the word as well in the name of Jesus and I pray right now for those who are broken their hearts are broken their minds are distraught they are tormented Lord they are tormented by so many different things oh God Lord they are tormented by what the world's expectation upon them is so many of us are striving and competing and set goals for our lives because the world places a standard on us and today Lord I pray that we will be set free from the oppression of what society and what social media and what the world places on us but Lord let us have our being in you and let us be grateful every morning when we wake up in the morning may our first prayer be thank you Lord for the breath that I have today and Lord let the simple things which have become simple to us because of the world's high expectation of material things and earthly things may the simple things that have become to us known to us now which is actually the big and the great things of God. May they become magnified during this war that we are in right now. And may your people become people that are of substance in Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. 
Oh Lord, we thank you for day 12 of our pilgrimage. Continue to sustain us, I pray, as we face a new day with new hopes, new expectations from Almighty God, expectant that God is going to perform miracles in our everyday lives. In Jesus' mighty and all-powerful name. And now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance towards you and may God be gracious unto you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen and amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. for Day 13 Family Altar.